today I'm going to... Anyway, as I was saying, today I'm going to go through my Oceania models. Sorry, my parents are playing music in the background. Anyway, so, if you know me, I would probably start with Chris because she's my ocean liner Weifu. It's hard to like. It's hard to all in and then turn off the lights because I could just use this. Yeah. Open up the thing. And let light in. Anyway, as I was saying, you're probably thinking that I'm going to start with Christanic. Because, one, she's a flagship of my company, the Christop Company. And, two, she's my waifu. But we're not going to start with her. We're going to start with a ship that made that. That got me into ocean liners and model kit building. The Titanic. Now, this isn't the first model that I had. This isn't the first Titanic model I had. Sorry, I'm recording on my bed, so. Yeah, I just. Yeah, I'm too lazy to get up. But anyway, this isn't my first Titanic model. I had one a long time ago. And it was a Ravel Titanic model that I got from Walmart. And yes, Walmart used to sell some Titanic kits. It's some other kits, but I had to stop selling them and... The only way you want to get a kit is from Hobby Lobby or you know, model shop. And then later on in years, I got an Academy Titanic kit. Let me just say the camera I'm just right here. Yeah, I got an Academy Titanic model kit. But I turned lazy and just, yeah, did, well, barely anything. I just gave it the bowel and didn't even add the parts for the stern. And it looked like shit. But now, that model is fucked, and I'm trying to find some parts of it. That way, I can maybe use it. And use them for my Christanic model. Because if you know me, Christanic has 16 decks. So she's probably about the size of the Queen Mary 2. So, and also she had a diff she also has another promenade deck on top of this promenade deck. Which, like in this paper model of her. Anyway, now to go through this model. Now I built that. I bought and built this model on a Thursday before my birthday. Because on my birthday, I want to go to work. So yeah, I bought this as a present for myself. And I started building this, and it looks nice. Now, back then, it didn't have golden funnels and a red hall. I'll show you a picture of what it used to look like back then. <clears throat> Go through the errors in this model. For, from a far distance, you will see a well-made model. But if you look closely, you can tell that I just been lazy and did not add the interior of the promenade deck.
the reason because of this is because I thought it would be hard. And, and I thought to myself, no one will see this from round deck. But I can, and it look like shit. But I did make the Palm Land deck for my Britannic model. And also, this model is starting to get its propellers broke. But if I found somewhere that I could get spare parts for this model, I may get some new propellers for it. <coughs> <coughs> but how about the promenade deck? Well, I think this is from another Academy Titan model. But this one has some of the parts for the promenade deck. So, if I found a tutorial, uh, how to make the cement glue like weak and wet again that way I could just remove the boat deck in one piece and won't break anything then I could just install the inside well the promenade deck we add the boat deck and I could truly admire this masterpiece yeah it doesn't have its other anchor. When building this model, yeah, I think I broke the anchor for this side because it was small and kind of delicate. Got trapped in that. But yeah. And this is the only side that says Titanic. The other side. Yeah. Also, there's a white splotch right there. You wanna know why? Because I'm trying to like uh, paint up this grand staircase dome or something like that. And that I think it was a blue splotch, which I don't know how it got there. Maybe this model was near the Christanic model when I was building the Christ right, guys. And turns out I had a limit of recording. So I deleted some clips of some other videos. And I found one clip for the Athen Coach review. Yeah. And I may continue on with this model. I painted the... Uh, well, yeah, I painted the uh, funnels golden because I think that's a better color for the funnels. Because I don't like the orange. It's too bright. Gold? Just brings out the details on the model and yeah, that I think is from what I was trying to add the mask as you can see right here, but it broke. Yeah, same thing back here. I also painted the uh, hall this color red because I think it's better. Yeah, I'm planning now. I'm planning to like paint, like repaint some parts of the hall, but I'm not gonna go f go through the hassles, and I may find some some red paint spots like somewhere on the hall. Well, the superstructure. Yeah, that will explain these red spots right here. 
Yeah, paint is a weird thing. It gets almost everywhere. But for me. But all in all, this is a good model. And I made this model back in 2017, I think. No way. Sorry. I don't remember when I built this model, but I, I think from 2018. Yeah, 2018 is when I built this model. Or 17, I don't know. But what I'm trying to say, this is a well-aging model that I have. Anyway, now to the next model. The Ravel. One twelve hundred scale Titanic. Now I've been wanting this model since a long time. Now, I have one. From G and G. And I got this model the first time when I went to G and G model shop. Now I went there like two times and I got a Athern GP40 and two Pullmans. But yeah, this is the first model that. Oh, frick. Turn off the camera, I'm trying to. Oops. Uh, yeah, let's keep the camera on. Anyway. <coughs> you couldn't see, but I actually painted up the decks. And also some red is bad because when I painted this with the red paint I had, yeah, it was not good. No, no. So I tried to cover it up with my red Sharpie, which just gave it a pink shading. It would represent as hull damage if it's a darker shade. But no, it's a light shade. So, it's bad. <clears throat> and some black is chipping off the funnels. Oh, look, there's a big chip that I didn't see. And the gold. I may repaint this. But I don't know. Well, may, because I got banned from Roblox. Because of a deck that had a link. Ah, uh, now a classic model. The Claire.net Titanic model. Now you could get a Claire.net model from Claire.net. Oh no, duh. Anyway, I, I perfected this model after a long time. Like, I don't have my last models, but the first one was, was bad. Just trash. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't add the skeleton thing that you had to make and make for this model. But I did do it on a Britannic model, just not in this model, but in the Titanic model. But I do have some older models of this model. This is oldie. Yeah, it's trash. It's fucked. Everything fucked. Yeah, I gave it a face for some reason. I don't know, I was weird back then. Just trash. Everything flat, fucked, and now squished. The only thing good is stern. Oh, this is old. Had dust. Yeah, this is just trash. Just trash. And this one, I was making, but then I just stopped and just quit. Because I got bored of making it and... 
It's three-ish now. Actually, I may... I should've like... No, I shouldn't. Cause this model is better. But this model just three-ish. Just look at that. Dead funnel stand. Just look at that. It's flat. <clears throat> Yeah, this is the only good mo good Titanic model I have. How about Britannic? Yes, Claire down there has a Britannic. And two times I have perfected Britannic, but not Titanic for some reason. But I finally perfected the Titanic, and now making. Well, I will plan to make. The Claire.net Olympic model. If I have, well, the energy to make it. Yeah, there's some flaws with it. And that because of the glue and somewhere between how I made this. You're wondering why there are white spots or blue spots. is because that is to show what this, where what part goes to. And I hate this, like, a long time ago, I used to have, I uh, raised a, Claire Donette raised a Titanic model of this. And people are telling me those are pools. I wish I could tell them, are you fucking stupid? Titanic, the Olympic class liners never had pools on their top decks. One because you were stupid. And two, why would the White Star Line add pools outside on this area when right here there will be something saying crew only or something like that. And why over here? Because third class passengers are somewhere allowed right here. And besides, the pools are only for first class, which is somewhere right here. But all in all, this is a great model. And I perfected the stern. Just look at that. Anyway, we're near the 10 minute mark, so I may, so I may not finish this video, let me just check them in that. Anyway, now off, well let, let's do this in order, so, Britannic. Now, I did a video a long time ago of my Britannic model. This model is a bit cleaner. Oh look, there's a paint splodge of red. Wow. <coughs> anyway. Anyway, yes, as you can tell, the white striping is kind, kind of fucked here. But the red hull is perfect on this model. Uh, well, at least perfect. Because when, when painting the hull, it was separated from the, from the upper hull. Because if you had an Academy Titanic model, you could just take away the, this part of the hull. And make it look like it's waterline. A little bit on a little bit just no red right here. But yeah, you can make this waterline if you want. Do I had to like get some tools that way you could cut it off. 
Anyway, I just glued them all. Because. <clears throat> I should have made that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, there was a part missing. Right here. And this is not. I can speed this up anyway. Here's the model. I didn't paint some spots, but you could just paint them in area you want. And again, I did do the promenade deck on this model. And I may fix the yellow tips of the funnels. Yeah, this side is more cleaner. Needs a little bit more white, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that one more face reveal. Oh no. I forgot to mention that model over there. Anyway, now to the big U. Frick, that fell. Now, this model... Now, this model being a paint to paint. I just decided to, like, I'll paint this model while building it. And that was a bad idea. Well... The funnels need a bit of a real paint. It's some parts of the superstructure. Including right here. Right, including right here. Yes, the decals are a bit fucked. Except this one, a little. That one's even fucked. And some green paint of up here is ugly. But, I tried building this, and at least it's not even worse than Elliot's freaking ugly Track Master Customs. Jesus. Anyway. And I'll try to, like, re-glue the sides of the promenade deck. But I think this is a promenade deck. I don't know. But, and also, this is the 2016 version. That I got from Hobby Town before it closed. The only Hobby Town that is in Houston. And it's now closed. Now I'm thinking I want to repaint the funnels, but I don't have to go for the hassle trying to mask off the, the decks and maybe fuck up something. Now, to the models up here. Let me move my Nakayoshi Emily. And now, the Queen Elizabeth. Now I may repaint. The Queen Elizabeth Hall with a with a with an acrylic paint, not with a sharpie, because with a sharpie you could just scratch it off. See, no way the paint's already fucked. The funnel, it's not that bad. And also, I didn't bother painting the the decks that much. And you wonder why the front has that type of texture? It's because, well, some red spots appeared on the front, so I had to mark it off with a sharpie. Now it look like that. And now to my favorite model. The Atlas Editions Queen Mary model. Now this model has been through a lot. Mm. And it still didn't lose its style. It been through losing its mask. 
to me having regluing it t with uh, uh, super glue because concrete glue that you use on models would not work on this model and I had to re super glue the top deck back on this deck because of if because well I could just lift this up and yeah pop it off and I kind of saw a glue spot right there so some so somewhere in the Atlas Edition factory they use a concrete glue that is bad on this model when they could have used super glue and risk a few fingers being stick and also you may see it if you look closely yeah one of the bridge I called them wings back then I'm going to still call them that yeah yeah one of them broke off and I re glue it. I even. God damn it! Anyway, I even glue one. Well, I glue this side on the metal hall. Even this one. That way it won't break easily. And also, I had to re glue this back on. Now I had to re glue this mask back on. And just one propeller is loose. So yeah, this model been through a lot, but it's still looking good. If it still has its mask. Yeah, I need to like sand off this splodge and find a super glue that has a shape that I can handle. That way I could just put, yeah, re-glue this that mask back on. And I still have it stand right there. Or oh, Miss Queen Mary. Yeah, unscrew it from the base. Cause I was planning to make a Poseidon video uh, with this with that model, but yeah, audio got fucked up. Now I'm moving on to Mi Waifu. The Chris Tanic. Ah uh, yes. She's a fine ship. The flagship of Chris Line. Yes. I did made up a country named Chris Line. That is where the Crystal Company is. Have a better railway system than Amtrak. Because Amtrak sucks. Anyway. Here's Chris Tanner. Yeah, you wonder why he's with that blue spot. Yeah, I'm trying to like redo her her bow that will be on her anchor. Also, I cut a piece of paper and glued it on there, saying her name. Painted her bridge blue. Yeah, some paint of the funnels. Touch the glue, and now the mate splodge. Right here, it's okay because that meant to be blue, but yeah, it will be hard for this one to stick. <laughs> this one is okay. This is just masking tape out around this one. This this one went off okay. This funnel. Yeah, okay. The stern? Okay. I may like break this off and try to redo one part of one part of her stern. And I'm and I'm and I will add some propeller boot cut and I will give her more propellers because the Christanic has wait five propellers. Two right here, two right here, and one right there. There we go. Let me get the, her paper model that has just fallen. 
and be right back to her paper model as you can see there's her, there's her bow on her anchor fuck the lighting shit no lighting there we go right here you can even enjoy the sun anyway Fuck you, I'm not enjoy the sun. Fuck you, stupid lighting. And her, that, her name, her bow, and her flags. Yeah, I also plan to like redo this model. And this is her waterline model. As you can see, she has another promenade deck on top of that deck. And this, this is her crew, where her crew rooms are. They're also right here, but no, not right. They're also somewhere right here. Because right here is where they keep, is where they keep her from any danger. Well, keep her safe from any danger. And there's your flag. Right there is supposed to be like. Chris and. Wait. Chris. Uh, Chris Dub. Well, Chris and Chris Dub Company. Flagship. Yeah, the word lines. Supposed to represent. The stern is okay, but. Yeah. Do better. And that's. Almost for my. For right now. My entire Ocean Liner collection. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye. Bye. Closer look to this model. Yeah, there's a template for the Claire.net Olympic. Yeah, I didn't have the template for the propeller blades, but oh well. Now, goodbye.